some of the political prisoners we have in the country at the moment were sent to jail for what they said. If it comes out in court that what they said was true, what happens there? Starmer may be out of the country at the moment for many, many, many reasons. But one of the reasons is he doesn't want to talk about the rumours online about the Southport tragedy and what he knew, when he knew, um, his involvement potentially with the family. Um, Liverpool police are getting a slating at the moment. I'm hearing rumours now online that the Chief Constable will not keep her job when all this comes out in court. So it's got nothing to do with a court case, which I don't necessarily want to talk about. This is to do with the surrounding issues, which is if things turn out to be true and it comes out in court over the next few weeks and months, um, that some of the political prisoners we have in the country at the moment were sent to jail for what they said. If it comes out in court that what they said was true, what happens there? Because that will be a miscarriage of justice. What happens when it comes out that, if this is true, that 10 Downing Street and Starmer knew a lot of information in the first couple of days um, that this accuser has now been charged with, but kept it away from the public? What happens if all this comes out? I mean, the ramifications are deadly serious, aren't they, for Storm? I mean, that, that's why the case has now been deferred again, hasn't it? It's been put back again. I'm not sure what the new date is, but it was meant to be January the 20th, was it? And it's now been put back again. I, Nigel Farage said it out loud. He said that he understood there was serious, um, should we say, lobbying going on by the government to get this case put back. Now, of course, we can't talk about the case. We've got to get ourselves in trouble, etc. But the rumours about... Now, the rumours about the dad and the what Starmer's involvement was and stuff, I'm hearing that's not true. Um, I... As, it, as far as like legal involvement goes with his dad and stuff, I'm hearing that's not true. I don't, I don't think there's any truth to that. Or well, that's my understanding at the moment anyway. But there's a, a sad irony to this, that they don't want people to talk about it, that they are taking away parliamentary privilege, which is unheard of. I mean, unprecedented to take away the right of an MP, whether it be Richard Tice or Farage or anybody from the Tories or any party, to ask questions about this. Yet Starmer himself, Yvette Cooper, people like that, actually prejudiced the case against these people that they call far-right hooligans by saying they're going to be rushed through the courts, they're going to be slammed in jail straight away without even knowing if they were guilty or not, before they'd had any sort of fair trial. So there's the, that's that's irony for you. They wanted those people slammed away, and you're right. When the truth comes out about this, if the if any of these rumors are true, those people are as as you rightly said, political prisoners, and they've been locked up for saying something that was allegedly potentially true in the first place, and that obviously they should be released straight away. Now, Starmer will throw anybody under the bus to make sure that he keeps his own job. That's absolutely clear by the way he's now distancing himself from his chancellor and stuff so Yvette Cooper would have to go certainly I mean she's useless anyway she she might as well not be part of the government you never see or hear from her on anything Starmer would hang on probably I suspect for a few months but what me and you said a while ago was absolutely right this guy is not going to last years as prime minister he might he might last till the May elections but there's, so, uh, there's such a scandal-ridden government. And you're right, it was a vote to get the Tories out. People were sick of the Conservatives. Rishi Sunak could have walked on water in front of people and they still wouldn't have paid any attention. And that's how bad it had got for the Conservatives. They drifted into being a centre-left party. They weren't, they weren't Conservative anymore and people just thought, well, I've had enough of you, I want you out. But still, there was no enthusiasm, was there, for Labour, for Starmer, for any of them. Yvette Cooper nearly lost her seat. Wes Streeting nearly lost her seat. Starmer lost 50% of his majority. That's how much enthusiasm there was for these people. Yet all they've done is do their absolute best to piss people off with these terrible policies and cover-ups. And it's, well, as you can see by the polls, it's taken its toll severely on this alleged government. That's why I keep calling them alleged. Yeah.